Good morning, happy December 10, happy Sunday to you all. Hope you're all well today. So let's get straight to business. Let's recap yesterday how it went. We had Mufi in Tuffway Park. Um, the jockey, Tyler Connor, didn't give us much chance really in this race. He, he went five wide all the way around. He let the winner get a jump on him and then stayed on his end to get second. So um, I thought if he was a bit closer and stayed in for a bit of cover closer to the rail, we would have a good shot there. But um, it was definitely the class of the race. Market showed that, but um, the jockey obviously wasn't thinking the same wavelength as us. Uh, moving on, and we had Sea Streak as well. This is very interesting, this run. If you watch this race again, this horse looks like it's flat out and then comes again with a re-rally. And um, I thought if the jockey as well had a bit closer, we would have had a, a bit of a run our hands. The other, Irad Ortiz did us as well. It was a match race between two favourites, and Irad just showed his little bit of experience over Hector Diaz there on that one. He got away. He knew what he had in his pocket. He got away just in time. Sea Streak, to her credit, was staying on. Uh, with uh, great uh, determination near the end but it was just a bit too late and then we had the skipper too man this horse could have stayed in the stalls for the next race he lost about 20 lengths at the start go back and watch this race and he was out of the TV screen for 85% uh, of the race and came down the home straight like a horse like sectariat so um, this horse le bro broke level I thought we would have had a great one they went so fast up front which uh Kind of helped the skipper too, really, but uh, you can't lose 20 lengths and hope to win. So uh, he lost that race at the stalls. So um, as I said, keep an eye off this horse. This horse, he's not a finished article, and I think there's still more to come from this horse. Anyway, we've got a good day selection uh, coming today. I have a good feeling about today. I have a good feeling about every day, but today I have a, a very good feeling about some horses today. So um, let's start in the fairgrounds, race seven. Nelson Avenue here. Six to four here. Finished fourth in Keeneland over seven furlongs. Uh, he's stepping up a furlong here. And the breeding suggests that this will help this horse. A six to four, I'm willing to take this horse on. I think this horse will win today. Uh, is a bit of a class drop as well. So um, a six to four, uh, Nelson Avenue, Fairgrounds Race 7 is the one for me. Golden Gates here. Race six, I have a horse here, Winning Lover. Uh, second on debut here. What I love about this second on debut, the winner went on to win again. So this Frank the Form, which shows that the form, it wasn't a fluke winner, it wasn't the winner. I love to see Fr uh, Frank Form. So today, a two to one uh, winning lover, race six, Golden Gates, I think we'll take all the beating here and we'll be very hard to beat. Um, then we have in Los Alamitos, race nine. This is the horse I backed on debut and it won very well for us. He said Tanita, he's at Los Alamitos tonight, Loretta Lynn. He's odds on, but I think uh, this horse will do the business. They think very highly of this horse, and uh, I've no doubt in my mind that this will get the job done tonight. Loretta Lynn, race night, Los Alamitos. Debut winner for us on this channel as well. So um, always follow, I will have a debut winner because there's plenty more left in them. He ran very green as well, so... Uh, Hopefully we'll do uh, the winning of the stake race night, Las Alamitos. So we'll be staying up for that one tonight. Moving closer to home to me, uh, Aqueduct race five. Lots of trouble. This horse, um, we backed first time out for Todd Pletcher. Irad Ortiz rode it. It was very green that day. Uh, was two to one favourite. Uh, came third in the end. But I think we'll have learned a lot from that experience. And today could be the very good day for this horse. Kendrick Kamouche takes over in the saddle. Which I like very much. He's a very uh, nurturing type of jockey. He doesn't go straight for the whip. He will bring them into the race. Young, inexperienced horse. He will drive them into the race slowly. He progress with them slowly. He won't go straight for the whip. He'll progress it. That's what I, you want. Irad Ortiz sometimes go straight for the whip on young horses. And they back away from it. So I, I really like the jockey booking here. And lots of trouble. Should do the business. In Todd Pletcher's barn here guys. And Todd Pletcher would not be keeping a hold of this horse. If he didn't think there was something in the locker on this one. Has some very good workouts as well. Lots of trouble. Aqueduct race five. And then the last one to close out. Uh, race five. Gulfstream. Have a nice three to one horse here. Cardio Princess. Uh, drop back in trip here. Will suit. Breeding suggests. And uh, has been raced at some very high grades here. This is like a, 
a penalty kick for this race as far as I'm concerned. There's another favourite in this race, but I'm not concerned by that horse whatsoever. Edgar Zayez gets the right here and is a very underrated jockey. So for me, I, I, I will play the singly, but I will do a couple of trebles and doubles and I'll put all in the accumulator. But uh, I think we're going to have a good day today, guys. Please hope. We need the Santa Claus money, you know. <laughs> God bless you all. Have a good Sunday and uh, we'll see you back here next Saturday. Or maybe tonight when I'll recap my winners. God bless you all. Bye-bye.